Hey, I'm Caroline, and 2020 being the beast that it is has caused me to rethink how I spend my time off from teaching. I'm a week into an exhilarating road trip around a small part of Scotland, and so far have hiked amongst breathtaking scenery in Glencoe, up Ben Nevis, and on the Isle of Skye. I've checked out some well-known locations made famous thanks to the movies and been wowed by some of the most jaw-droppingly stunning scenery I personally think the UK has to offer. Having made my way back onto the mainland and getting into the North Coast 500 territory, in today's episode I'll be hiking up Stackpolly's Ridge in search of spectacular views across the Summer Isles and the Ascent region. attempting to ascend the ridge called Stackpolly which is just a little bit north of Ullapool getting quite high up into Scotland at this point. It's only supposed to be four and a half kilometres this hike. It is quite steep. I think the ascent's around about 500 or so metres and even right from the car park it's just been relentlessly going up, up, up. The trail seems pretty decent. It's had quite a bit of National Lottery funding given to it. So I'm really looking forward to being able to do a trail that's not as boggy as some of the ones that we've recently been experiencing. The ridge that we're hiking up to has suffered quite a bit from erosion, um, both from the weather, which is fair enough, but also quite a bit from hikers. So we're being asked to make sure that we keep on this trail. around the ridge and the views have completely opened up. I've been doing some researching into the different hikes that you can do here and I'm not 100% certain but I think I think that that one over there might be Sylvan which we'd considered doing but it is 20 kilometers and it's got quite an epic amount of elevation right at the very end so we're thinking we probably won't actually bother doing that one whilst we're up here and I think Culmore might also be in the background somewhere over there but it's just crazy how it just opens up and then it drops down and it's really really flat and you've got these beautiful locks and then just suddenly you've got another hill that just comes up it's absolutely spectacular but this is this is quite an arduous hike some of the stepping stones that they've put in as part of the restoration program to help protect the ridge it's huge uh, elevation from one to the next and it's really really testing my muscles and I still think I'm a little bit achy still from having hiked Ben Nevis and not quite recovered from that but I have to say onwards and upwards and we're going to see uh, if the view will open out any more than what it is at the moment. the top but my goodness that was a short hike but an incredibly steep hike as well and it's really taken it out of all of us but the views up here are just absolutely beautiful and even just coming up with the boulder fields with the I guess like moss growing on them and then the heather that's this bright purple color at the moment dotted in between it's just been absolutely stunning but the wind obviously when you get up to the top of the ridge is 
cutting through is at the moment, so I'm just gonna lay it up to try and warm up a little bit. We just stopped, had um, a little bit of a snack just to get the energy levels up again. I think we're just gonna go and wander around and explore the ridge a little bit more because whilst we're kind of almost at the top, there are some little pinnacles on either side of us. And I, th I guess we'll just go and see what's up on either, each of those. But looking down now, it's a significant height that we have climbed in really not much shared uh, distance at all. trying to get back down Stag Polly and whilst it was excruciatingly difficult to get up just because of how steep it was trying to actually get back down is obviously a completely different set of muscles but it's really quite scary it's really steep but there's a lot of just soil I guess on each of the boulders and it's just making it really slippy and because of how steep this mountainside is it's causing it just to be really scary because one foot wrong and could go off the edge. And now the midges are coming in to attack me. We've been quite lucky actually. We've not been too bad with midges. When I told people that we were coming to Scotland in the summer, people were like, oh, the midges are going to be terrible. But it does seem to be actually when we stop in spots without much wind, I suppose like this badly chosen spot at the moment and they're all coming in. So I'm going to keep on going and try and find a place with a little bit more of a breeze. one where we could either do it as there and back or once we've got off the really really steep section that took us to the top of the ridge there was actually a fork in the path as we were going up where we could either take a left and go up or we could take a right and keep on going around so three out of the four of us have decided that we are going to actually go all the way around the ridge so we're hoping that the view on the other side might be a little bit different to what we were able to see at the top of the two ridges that are up at the very top. The one that overlooks the sea needed some quite technical scrambling experience, which none of us really have and one of our groups in trainers. So we're deciding to try and get the view much lower down on the circuit that goes all the way around. And that should hopefully loop us back to the car park where we left the cars. of this particular hike was a one and a zero doesn't exist so we were quite excited by that but unfortunately we just seem to have hit a whole load of bugs at the very end before we loop back onto the original trail. I'm getting to a point where I really just don't trust that you can do any try hikes up in Scotland anymore. We're 
kind of trying to get through it without destroying as much of the vegetation off to the side of the hiking trails as much as possible but there have been a few places where it's been a little bit unavoidable. Okay, we've made it now back to the original path that we came up, which is much better and paved, but once again, super steep. So it's just a case of watching my step now. Join me in the next episode when I'll take a boat trip around the Summer Isles in search of sea life. Take an afternoon hike up to the wonderful Bone Caves and go in search of a waterfall I once saw on Google Maps. We've just pulled up on the side of the road as to where I think it might be. If you've not done so already, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can join me in my Scottish adventures.